Hello and welcome to the students studying uh, the Diploma in Avalanche Studies. This video is a quick orientation into the online course, how to access your course materials and how it's all laid out. Uh, the best way to probably to access is to dial in the Otago Polytechnic website. That's otagopolytechnic.ac.nz and we'll bring up this website. It, at the moment looks like this. Down the left you'll see quick links and you find the link to Blackboard. Blackboard is a system that the Polytech uses or some of the teachers use to deliver online training and there is a bunch of information here about Blackboard and other things as being a student. Uh, in the paragraph the last sentence there is Blackboard can be accessed here and you click that link. Okay, if you wanted to come straight here without doing those first steps the address is blackboard.tegatago.ac.nz you should be issued with a login and password to uh, get into the course. Uh, this should have been emailed to you by your facilitator. Uh, if you don't have one, then I'd suggest contacting the course facilitators to get one. Once you've put in your username and password, you click log in. Now the first screen is welcoming me there and welcome you, of course. The first screen presents all of the courses that you are enrolled in. Now, if you if with the Tiger Polytechnic the only course you're enrolled in is the Diploma in Avalanche Studies, then down the right here all you'll see is this, the Avalanche Diploma in Avalanche Studies. There's a list of the instructors there. So you just click that one. Other stuff here is just recent announcements from the courses you're in and it's basically a dashboard to all of your online studies. Uh, some students study a lot of courses online at the same time so they need this dashboard. But if you're just Diploma in Avalanche Studies and you want to get straight into it, you click that link and now we are in the Diploma of Avalanche Studies course listed here. The course is laid out as such. There are news items, so that's announcements from your facilitators and when you log in and come to this page, the first thing you see is the news. Then there is information about the teachers and at the moment we have um, placeholders um, for the teachers there. I'll add their, um, their information in there shortly. Then we have the content. Now the content has been set up to mirror the structure of the course. Uh, your facilitator will give you more information about that, but if you're familiar with the structure of your course, uh, how it's all laid out and how you get to your diploma and the st stages to that, then you should recognize this as laid out exactly the same as that. Let's, for, for example, look at um, apply, uh, Rescue and Mitigation Services. I'm, I'm the developer, so I know a bit about this one. So if you're up to studying that part in your course, you click into that. And we have Rescue Theory folder, and we have Mitigation Theories. And then we have some information about a reflective learning journal that uh, students are supposed to be keeping. And then we have some extension readings that some of the theory um, points to, uh, just general interest and things like that. So if we go into the Rescue Theory folder, then we have uh, a, a list of, um, I don't know, lectures, presentations, course notes and activities that uh, the instructors are um, loading in there at present. Eventually we'll have an introduction statement there uh, and then some instructions, but there is the link to this resource. So if we click this one, it's going to open a PDF document. This is Avalanche Rescue Section Overview. I've clicked it and it's loading and it will load in the same screen there. And this, in this case, it's a presentation. So I'm just clicking the arrow buttons on my keyboard to go through the presentation. Okay. Uh, each one looks slightly different. If we go back to the content now and go back to where we were just then, rescue and mitigation measures. I could have used the back buttons on my browser, mind you. We go to look at mitigation measures theory and it's slightly different. We have a workbook and we have model answers and there are links to a PDF like we just looked at and a doc that's a Word document uh, if you wanted to copy paste or edit the document for your own purposes. If we click the PDF and here we have a workbook that is ready designed to be printed on an A4 printer and it's pretty much a textbook with um, some uh, activities in there and um, guidelines, tables and all that sort of stuff. It's quite a good handbook. 
Okay, I'm going to press the back button on the browser this time to get back to where we were, and then back again. So you'll have to spend some time with the content uh, to get to know how this course is uh, laid out, where you're, where you're up to, and how you might pace yourself through the content and the activities in there. One of the activities in the course um, is a learning journal. And we click this journal. This is an option for you to do. There, I think from memory, the learning journals, you had an option to keep a weblog, to keep a Word document in, on your own computer and send it to the facilitator peri periodically, or to keep your handwritten notes and scan them in and send them in. You also have this option to use this feature, the journal here. And uh, <coughs> you can set up what's called a new forum. And there's Lee's journal, Peter's journal. So when you click new forum, you can add um, in your name. Now if you don't see that button then you need to contact your facilitator to set it up for you and you'll see your name journal and when you click into there then you have the ability to add in new entries. But what's uh, good about this one is that the other people in the course have the ability to add in uh, responses to your entries and that way you can get feedback and comments uh, and share each other's um, points of view. Finally, in the Blackboard course, you have your details. And this is a good way to change your password, edit your personal information, uh, and to change your, the email address that you prefer to be contacted on. That's very important that you come in and change your email address uh, so that you get up-to-date announcements and information about the course. You get that through your details and edit your personal information. And there's your email field there. Okay, that's about it with the uh, orientation to the online course. Good luck with your studies and um, contact your facilitator if you have further issues.